Hey guys, it's been a long time since I made any updates on any of my tanks, so I figured I would go ahead and make an update on this tank. This is my uh, five gallon Fluval spec that I set up last, I want to say May. Uh, it was during the time when Rachel O'Leary was doing the uh, scrap tank challenge. Uh, so everything here was just stuff that I had around the house. Uh, the wood was, I believe, one that I had actually collected down at the beach at one point. Uh, the rocks and sand were all uh, from the river in front of my house. And then the plants were plants from my other tanks around the house. Uh, and the light on this tank uh, was a used tank and the light was burnt out. So I had this fluval planted nano that I had on a different tank that I had at work at one point. So it was just sitting around, so I used that. And in here I have some cherry barbs, and they've been doing amazing. Yeah, uh, this was actually after I did a major trim. I should have taken a uh, picture. I should have taken a picture or a video before I had trimmed it, but uh, you weren't even able to really see inside the tank. Like right in the center, uh, you can see some roots popping up. That was from a uh, uh, what's it called again, cryptocrine windena That was that had grown all the way up to the top and was just blocking the whole front view and yeah i just hacked away at this there was so much growth in there uh i got some algae issues in it but it doesn't really bother me uh look makes it look even more natural and yeah it's only beneficial to the tank uh i try and pick out some and i when it starts to really bother me but it doesn't bother me too much but yeah that's about it uh don't know how much longer this tank is going to be up. I'm just kind of itching to set up a new aquascape and might do it with this one just because it's so much cheaper to set up a five gallon tank than something larger. I have it around the house. Uh, I've got some serious stone upstairs that I had in a uh, 75 gallon at one point that maybe I'll play with that and maybe pick up some, ex uh, some more uh, driftwood somewhere. I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, I'm planning on taking the female cherry barbs out maybe this week and I want to put them inside of a 10-gallon uh, tank and fatten them up a little bit and then uh, throw in the males and hopefully get some eggs and see if I can go ahead and breed them out for some Breeders' Award program points for the Tropical Fish Society of Rhode Island. But yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.